by Lisa Bauman. Seattle, AP, in a Seattle mayoral race that will give the booming liberal city its first female mayor since the 1920s, former U.S. Attorney Jenny Durkin has taken a strong early lead. Seattle mayoral candidate Jenny Durkin at an election night party Tuesday, November 7, 2017, in Seattle. AP photo Elaine Thompson, Seattle mayoral candidate Jenny Durkin at an election night party Tuesday, November 7, 2017, in Seattle. AP photo Elaine Thompson, 91 years after Seattle elected Bertha Knight lands as mayor, early returns Tuesday show Durkin had captured more than a 20-point lead with nearly 61% of the votes tallied in the all-male election. Urban planner Carrie Moon had just over 39%. Now, I know there's a lot of votes left to be counted, Durkin told supporters. But I have to tell you we're feeling really really good about where we are. She also had a message for the President of the United States whose policies she vocally opposed during her campaign. Can I just say, Donald Trump, keep your hands off Seattle. Ballot counting will continue over the next several days. Voters were choosing between Durkin, 59, or Moon, 54, to lead the city, dealing with the benefits and problems of an economy booming for some more than others as e-commerce giant Amazon expands. The two-woman matchup came after former Mayor Ed Murray, who had been expected to easily win re-election, dropped his efforts amid accusations of sexual abuse by multiple men. He resigned in September after a fifth accuser came forward. In another Washington contest, the Democrat took a strong lead in a state Senate race that will determine the balance of power at the Washington Capitol. If the results hold Washington will join Oregon and California with Democratic one-party rule in both legislative chambers and the governor's office. Manka Dingra was leading Republican Jin Young Lee England with 55 percent of the vote Tuesday night. The next ballot update is set for late Wednesday afternoon. Republicans, with the help of a Democrat who caucuses with them, currently control the Senate by a single seat. Democrats hold a slim majority in the House. The race for the 45th district, one of eight special elections for the state legislature this year, has broken all previous legislative spending records in the state because of the significance of the outcome. As of Monday, more than $8.7 million had been spent on the race, with much of it, about $5.9 million, being spent by third-party groups.